Hey, good morning. I'm going to read out of Luke chapter 19 today, verses 6 through 7. It says, Zacchaeus quickly climbed down and took Jesus to his house in great excitement and joy. But the people were displeased. He has gone to be the guest of a notorious sinner, they grumbled. <laughs> One reason I really like doing my daily Bible reading from the New Living Translation, which is the primary one that the One Year Bible uses, is it's so readable. Its readability is very good. I preach from the New King James Version and have done so for years because it kind of bridges the gap between the King James Version and other major translations, but it's not as good for daily Bible reading. Portions can sound a little more formal and take longer to wade through and think about and try to figure out what it's saying because of it. The New Living Translation, it's not like that. You can read it, understand it pretty easily as you read it. But it can also mean that the translators get a little loose with the translation. And these verses are a good example of that. Um, verse 7 literally says, in the Greek language in which it was written, it literally says, he, talking about Jesus, he has gone to be the guest of a man who is a sinner. That's what the crowd said. So the people grumbled and said, he has gone to be the guest of a man who is a sinner. Now, most major translations use some basic variant of that phrase. He has gone to be the guest of of a man who is a sinner. The New Living Translation says he's gone to be the guest of a notorious sinner. And while the New Living Translation isn't really wrong, the word notorious doesn't appear here. Even so, I like the addition because of its clarification. You see, in our culture, being a sinner has become much more accepted. It's even embraced by some. Being a sinner is not all that bad. Well, it actually implies that you're having fun with your life. But verse 7 is making a distinction. Zacchaeus is not just a sinner. He's a bad sinner. He's a sinner that even other sinners disdain. He's a notorious sinner. And Jesus went to his house to dine with him. Now, here's the problem with the people's statement. The level of a person's sinful notoriety is always determined by comparison. His sin is worse than mine. He's a notorious sinner. Yet, if we stop comparing ourselves to other people, and start comparing ourselves to Jesus, we will realize that we are all notorious sinners in comparison to Jesus. And Jesus wants to come and dine with us all of us. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to eat with him and he with me. Revelation 3.20 Jesus wants to sit down with you 
and me, notorious sinners, today. Pray with me. Lord, I am reminded in this passage that the notoriety of other people's sin is usually determined in comparison with how bad I think my sin is. But our comparison really isn't against each other. When we compare ourselves against your standard, your word, and your life, Jesus, we all turn out to be notorious sinners. But Lord, the most amazing thing to me is that you want to sit with us. You want to dine with us. You want to have a relationship with us. And while I can't fully understand why, I accept that you do. And I love the fact that you want a relationship with me. So Lord, let's dine together. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends, hope you have a great day. God bless you. See you tomorrow.